All right, we are hiking. I'm testing out the new GoPro. I want to see how well it stabilizes. Samantha, say something to test out the microphone. Hi, I'm Samantha. Welcome to the journey to Dragon's Tooth. Now we are crossing the river. We did it! <laughs> We only have 15% battery. Should have charged it. Didn't think about bringing the spare battery. Huh. Well, we might not make it to the top Boy, better safe while you watch now. us. Yeah, okay, so we are... Today is January the 17th, 2021. <laughs> and it is a very historic day today because it is the day that Samantha and Gray decided to hike the Dragon's Tooth Trail. Now, I know that many of you may be wondering, Samantha, where did you go for October, November, and December? We were planning a wedding, and then Christmas happened, and Thanksgiving happened. Thanksgiving happened before Christmas. And we just got really busy with the holidays and wedding planning, plus I have a full-time job, so... I just didn't have time for filming and stuff. It sucks, but I, I, that's what happened. We haven't gotten married yet. Um, we're getting, can we start walking? It's yeah. I cold. We kind of have to plan two weddings because of the situation in the world right now with the COVID. And so we have to have a wedding planned originally how we wanted it and a wedding planned for if we can't do that because of certain restrictions in our state. Now we're taking the video, I think. I forgot to charge the battery on this camera, so there's not gonna be as much of today as we were thinking there might be, but we decided to go hiking, and it's surprisingly snowy up here. Samantha? It's getting more and more snowy as we go up. Which also means more and more slippery. I'm doing that thing that vloggers do where they show in front, and they spin around to themselves real quickly and the thing stabilizes and so it looks really cool. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. We have reached the intersection with the AT, the famous Appalachian Trail. We have 0.7 miles to go until we reach the top. All right. We made it up to the top. It's a little colder, a little windier up here. So windy. It's cold. That's the tooth. And that's the view. Hi. So, um, you saw that amazing hike that we did. Sorry there was like no explanation for anything. We just went on a hike and wanted to vlog it. Probably after this video, there won't be that many until after we're married, but I'm not sure. So, probably, April-ish, I'll start making videos again. Anyway, this vlog, I wanted to do a big health update because I've been gone for so long. Right now I'm on the way to the ophthalmologist. Yeah, okay, I can't ever say that word very well. Because ever since I've been starting, ever since I started the ribocyclib, my eye, both my eyes, have been really bad. And they just get really swollen. I think that they're, ooh, tunnel. I think that they're swollen all the time, um, but they get really bad and they flare up sometimes. So like, as you can see last night, I had a flare up and it got pretty bad. It's a lot better this morning. I have this eye solution called Sterilid that I use on it and it helps a lot, but no one's really checked out my eyelids. What? My primary care doctor thinks that chemo damaged the glands in my eyelids, so it makes it so they're not as able to produce tears, which is why my eyes are dry, which can cause, like, hard time seeing things, and also just makes them hurt and swell. Um, so I use that Sterilid stuff to clean my eyelids every day. And it helps a lot, but it's 
still pretty bad, so I'm going to an actual ophthalmologist to see if they can look at the glands and the eyelids and actually check and see if this is the actual problem or if there's something else that they can do. So that's where we're going right now. Two days ago, I had a PET scan and I'm happy to report that it was 100% perfect, so no cancer. And yeah, I'm very excited about that. Before that, in December, I had a breast ultrasound. So that was also perfect. They didn't need to check anything else, which was awesome. So right now, there's not much to report about my health, which is a good thing, I think. <laughs> But I know a lot of you have been asking and wondering how I'm doing, so that is how I'm doing. Still in remission and just living life, dealing with a bunch of side effects. So basically, there's a bunch of other side effects that I have too. Um, right now, my hand is still swollen from my trip at the beginning of January. Um, my ring does not fit on my left hand again, just like it didn't fit at the end of our road trip vlog, which was in August. Except for that went away a lot faster. It only took a couple weeks for it to go down and now this, the swelling has been like this since my last trip for over a month. So I need to go back to the physical therapist and see if there's anything they can do. I have the compression glove and sleeve and I'm thinking that maybe the glove is too small, which is why it doesn't really help very much when um, I put it on and it makes the swelling kind of worse in a way. Or maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about and it is helping, but, and I should ignore all the puffing that happens with my hand whenever I put it on, but I don't think so, so I don't wear it right now. Um, yeah, so there's that problem and then I also have some problems with, uh, I don't wanna talk about that, <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what's going on right now. Um, this is gonna be a pretty boring update video, but yeah. Gray, you wanna say hi? Hi. He doesn't really want me to film him because he thinks his hair looks dumb, so I haven't been filming him. <laughs> hi, I'm back from the ophthalmologist. Is that how you say it? I've always Op pronounced the TH, like Op ophthalmologist. Op but it's like O P H. Ophthalmologist. 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 Eye doctor. Yeah. Yes, but not an optometrist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So those are different things. Yeah. So this one has like a higher degree or something. I hate going to new doctors because I have to explain everything to them. So I have to tell them all my medications, like my history of cancer and everything, and all my surgeries and whatever. It's dumb. But um, she basically looked at my eyes, told me that there wasn't an issue with the eyelashes. She said the eyelashes looked fine, um, which was good because I was, I was thinking that could be a problem. I didn't think that that was the problem. Um, but yeah, no, nope, there's no problem with that. And she said there's not, that the issue is annoying and it sucks, but it's not actually causing any damage to my eyes themselves or like causing problems to my vision or anything, which is good. And um, to basically just keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> and then she wants to see me again in two months, which I was like, why? Because it, if I'm just, this has been going on for so long and if I'm just doing what I've already been doing, then like, what's the difference? And she's like, well, you get farther and farther away from your other like IV chemo. And I was like, yeah, but this has been getting worse, not better. Also, if there's something she could do in two months, shouldn't she just do it now? Like if you come back in two months, no matter what you say, there's nothing else she could do. Right? I think she just wants to monitor it. Like, I don't, I don't know. She did give me this stuff. I, I mean, she didn't give it to me, I bought it. <laughs> but she told, recommended that stuff, which is like the sterilid stuff that I've been using, but stronger. So basically, they can't really do anything, is what I've gathered, which well, is what I thought, because that's what my primary care doctor told me. He was basically like, people just have to live with this and it sucks and it's annoying. There's nothing really you can do about it. 
I still think that if I went off the ribocyclid that it would go back to normal, so we'll see what happens with that. She also said that the ribocyclid is fairly new medicine, like it just became approved to use and it came off trial and everything because it was getting such good results, by the way, so like, good thing that that happened because now I can take it. <laughs> now I get to take it, the medicine that makes me nauseous and sick all the time. But that means that there's not that much documented on it, like side effects wise, so this could be a thing. She looked it up. There isn't really anything about it, about it causing eyelid problems, but could be, so she's documenting it all. And that's basically all. You have anything to say? No. I'm going skiing. Do you want Gray to vlog his ski trip? Comment down below if you do. Yeah, Samantha's not coming. It's just me and my family, so you wouldn't get any Samantha content. I don't think anyone watches this channel for me. I think they do. They like you more than me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to watch more interesting videos, check out the other videos on my channel. And uh, subscribe if you want. Okay, that's all. Bye.